Harbor Freight has been coming out with some new tools lately. It was the brushless tools for many applications that interested me. Since Harbor Freight cannot or will not use a tool battery that will work across their tool platforms, I started with Bauer and will stay with Bauer for the cordless tools. This means Harbor Freight cannot sell me a Hercules tool that is cordless. I am slowly working my battery inventory down to as few different sizes as possible. I will no longer buy anything that runs on a AAA or 9 volt battery. To me, they are the most worthless batteries ever designed. I will use DC and AA batteries and a couple of different button batteries. When it was time to buy a new stud finder, anything that was 9 volt was discarded as a choice to buy. I did find one that ran on AA batteries. That was the one I bought. For decades, I had only a DeWalt 18 volt drill. The batteries died and so I bought the Rayovac version of the DeWalt batteries, which are much less expensive. So technically, I have two tool battery systems in the shop. I do have some individual rechargeable cells that I've had for about 10 years. I think it may be time to replace some of them. In the Bauer line of 20 volt batteries, I have a one and a half and two three milliamp hour batteries. What I don't have is more powerful Bauer batteries because I am waiting, waiting on Harbor Freight to fulfill their promise. Stick around and I'll tell you about it. Hi, I'm Scott Bain. They call me the old farmer. I do appreciate that you're sticking around for the video. If you could, could you subscribe, leave a comment, do a thumbs, and share the video with others? As a fairly new channel, we're trying to hit the magical 1,000 subscriber mark so that we can get a pittance from YouTube to help offset expenses. So if you do subscribe to any channel with less than 1,000 subscribers, Hang in there until they reach that 1,000 subscriber mark. Then if you find their channel is not for you, unsubscribe. By hanging in there, you're doing a small part in helping the new and smaller channels. It's reaching the goal that counts. If the number drops by a few afterwards, it doesn't matter. Now let's get back to batteries. Harbor Freight promised about two years ago, give or take a bit, that they would be coming out with a 20 volt, 8 milliamp hour battery in the Bauer line. They said it would be in the fall. Harbor Freight announced it in the spring of that year. This was all before COVID and they had ample time to bring the battery out. Even when factoring in COVID, Harbor Freight had plenty of time to bring out the battery. So where is it? When Harbor Freight offers energy-sucking tools such as the Bauer 20-volt cordless 96-mile-per-hour jet fan blower or a leaf blower to you and me, we need a higher-powered battery. In a previous video, I tested this critter out and did some calculations. To run for 15 minutes, it needed a 20-volt 18-milliamp-hour battery. Maybe Harbor Freight should offer a car battery adapter. It worked well enough for most jobs. It blew hard enough, but I used a three milliamp hour battery and it only lasted a couple of minutes. And then I had to change batteries. I even tried it out on two different days and got similar results. Then I did the math. My conclusion was they put the wrong motor in this blower. I considered it as something to return to Harbor Freight especially since there isn't a battery big enough to run it for a decent amount of time. I don't have any of the 5 milliamp hour batteries because I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for the 8 milliamp hour battery. One store manager thought they were on the way but caught up in the traffic jam at the port of San Francisco. 
you're listening to Maggie in the background. She just took a drink of water and she's drank a little too fast. But she's okay. Now back to the batteries. It's one thing to ask the customer base if we wanted such a battery, but to promise it and not deliver? If Harbor Freight is going to offer energy hogging tools and not provide the battery packs they said they would offer, and other tool companies are offering a similar battery size, shouldn't we push a bit on Harbor Freight to get the battery out? We can do it nicely, but it's time we do a bit of pushing. Other channels have tested some of the Bauer 20 volt tools, such as the Bauer Sander, and have said it's an energy sucker too. By bringing out the 8 milliamp hour battery or something a bit larger, it will offset some of the decisions for tool components that Harbor Freight has made. As a quick fix, maybe Harbor Freight can bring out an adapter that will allow for dual battery operation. Am I going to step up to the 5 milliamp hour battery? No, the 8 milliamp battery would be a good step up from the 5 milliamp battery. Since I have a couple of the 3s and plan to buy the 8s, investing at these prices for the 5s is to me wasting money. I could see my having a 1.5, a, a couple of 3s, and some of the 8 milliamp batteries. I think I might at first buy two of the 8 milliamp hours and then later on pick up another two for a total of four 8 milliamp hour batteries. I got the one and a half in a package and I use a one and a half on the Bowers version of the Dust Buster. I wouldn't mind having two of the threes and possibly four of the eights to round out my battery line in power tools. Sure, the eight milliamp hour battery will be a little heavy when compared to the smaller battery packs, but then I could use a smaller battery such as on the impact driver and save the bigger batteries for such things as the Bauer chainsaw. Where I need the staying power, I would bring out the eights. Maybe if we all leave a comment on Harbor Freight's website and do some emails, we may get Harbor Freight motivated into offering the 8 milliamp hour battery and maybe even bigger sizes. Let's see what you have to say by leaving a comment. Thanks again for watching. This is the old farmer Scott Bain. Be well. Be safe. Don't forget to click like and click subscribe on the old farmer YouTube channel and thanks again for watching. Bye. The VFW National Home for Children, providing families of veterans and active duty military opportunities for growth and development in a nurturing community. Please consider a donation to help their children and families. Icy Road speaking.